today i am going to solve question number 4 of exam style questions of chapter number 2 uh, in question number 4 you are given uh, sequences of instructions for various checking methods and you are asked to um, rearrange uh, these instructions in the correct order let's uh, read part a uh, part a is about arq in, as you know that in arq the sender sends a message to the receiver and wait for waits for an acknowledgement for a specific period of time if the time becomes out then the sender resends the a copy of the same data to the receiver so the correct sequence is 3 1 2 4 let us read uh, number 3 the sending computer transmits a block of data to the receiving computer then the sending computer waits for a period of time if the receiving computer acknowledges the receipt of data after a set period of time timeout occurs and the which automatically triggers the resending of data and this continues until the receiving computer sends an acknowledgement that the data has been received in part b you are asked about checksum uh, you already know that uh, what happens in checksum in checksum the data is sent with a, uh, along with a pre-calculated uh, checksum value to the receiver the receiver gets the data also the receiver uh, gets the pre-calculated uh, checksum value also uh, but it um, but using uh, but using this data the receiver calculates its own checksum value uh, and compares this checksum value with the checksum value uh, that was sent by the sender if both values match then the receiver uh, considers uh, the data to be correct but if both values do not uh, match it asks the sender to uh, it asks the sender to resend the uh, data so this was about checksum the correct sequence is five two three four one now let's check it out this is uh, number five uh, the sending computer uses the block of data to calculate the checksum value then comes the next part number two in number two what happens the sending computer sends a block of data together with the uh, checksum value then comes number three in number three what happens uh, that the receiving computer uses the block of data to recalculate the checksum value then comes number four in number four what happens that the two checksum values are compared by receiving computer and in the end in part one what happens that if two checksum values don't match the receiving computer requests the data to be transmitted so this was about uh, checksum the next error checking method is uh, the parity check what happens in parity check an even or odd parity it decide is decided by the sending and the receiver is receiving computer the number of ones is counted by the sender to make all the bytes uh, even or odd and the receiving computer when it gets the message it also counts the number of ones in in its message and uh, uh, checks if the number of ones is correctly uh, uh, in, in the correct even or odd number or not so the correct answer is two three one four five let us check it from the book number one is two uh, two, uh, number two is the sending and receiving computers agree uh, uh, to the uh, agree the parity protocol protocol odd or even then in what happens in number three the sending computer adds a parity bit to each byte to make it even or odd then what happens in uh, number one what happens the sending computer sends the binary data including the parity bits then what happens in number four the receiving or, or computer also checks the parity of each byte received and checks it against the uh, agreed uh, protocol and what happens in number five that uh, if the parity of the byte is incorrect the receiving computer sends a request to resend data 
now comes the last type of check which is known as the check digit now comes the last part which is that check digit you can see it uh, its order from here uh, number six and number uh, number six then number five let us read number six the check digit is calculated and added to the numerical code then a human operator types in the numerical code into the computer then number two and number four let us read number two the calcul computer calculates the check digit based on the numerical code entered by the in the into the computer by the uh, human operator and the computer compares the calculated check digit with the check digit typed in by the human operator in the end what happens uh, three and one uh, the if two check digits don't match the human operator has made an error uh, while entering the code and a human operator will be asked by the computer to re-enter the numerical code so it, it happens in, in case of check digit the check digit is calculated by the human entered by the into the computer and the computer software has a formula that uh, calculates if the check digit is right or wrong and then if uh, it is it is wrong then the computer asks the user to recalculate the check digit this was all about question number four of the exam style questions next time i will next time i will do question number five thank you